is racing from the 1400 meter marker nice beginning this one Gradiot's the early leader, Roy's Magic's there, and Sylvester the Cat runs up now into third. Wayward is at the rail, followed by Roy's Magic. Checkpoint Charlie's on the outside of runners. They're followed by Techno Captain. Rocky Knight's about seven lengths off the leader as far and improves along the inside. Then comes Seattle Kid and King's Cove. As they move to the 900 meter region, Farland's the leader. In second, Sylvester the Cat. Wayward's at the rail. The blinkers there of Gradiot. And then checkpoint Charlie, the white head gear. Roy's Magic's further back in the run. Techno Captain's on the outside. The orange silks near the rail of Rocky Knight. And then comes Seattle Kid and King's Go. About to turn into the home stretch and Farland will bring him into the stretch. In second, Sylvester the Cat. Gradiot. Wayward is the white sleeves and cap just waits. Then Roy's Magic Checkpoint Charlie. Rocky Knight goes in for a run. Coming to the 400, Farland, Wayward, Gradiot's travelling nicely on the outside. And Roy's Magic down the inside as Rocky Knight as they come to the 200. And Rocky Knight comes into the lead now. A big runner is Roy's Magic. Wayward's trying to fight on. The three of them across the track. Rocky Knight's going on though. And it's Rocky Knight to win it by about two. The second position will go to maybe Techno Cap. Captain from Roy's Magic and Wayward. Yes, number three, Rocky Knight, the seventh rock, Lyle Yurtson, Paul Peter. And they come home lonely. Number three, it pays up at 280. Was only 10 cents second favorite. The toad favorite was number one, Wayward, at 270. Techno captain, I think the horse with the black cap run second. Third to number four, Roy's Magic, then Wayward. And further back in the field, King's Cove. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. Just a gradient was traveling sweetly. Next thing came under pressure, but the winners on the left hand side has now won two from nine. So we'd go back many, many a times. We talk about these colors. It was politician, then imperial um, silver, desert legend, the most recent Abashari. So those colors, if you own them, they have plenty of winners involved there. And there's your winner at 280 back to the studio. A very good win here for Rocky Knight, Paul Peter, Lyle Hudson teaming up. Well done to the uh, uh, MNG uh, Adversary Services. Uh, well done to you guys. And uh, Tony just telling me off air that we've had two uh, horses in these silks and they both have won now. Winter Storm at the Val. I watched that race uh, the other day. I think Warren Kennedy rode that. And uh, this horse now, Rocky Knight. So uh, these colors have, have come out flying for you guys. Yeah, I would like to say thank you to Gavin and Mark. They brought the horses over to us and um, they've brought us quite decent horses. So it's just a matter of putting the saddle on them and they came in very good condition from Andrew. So thank you to him. And um, Nasha Bala. I don't want to come and worry you in the parade ring because I already had a chat to your dad yesterday and I passed the information on. He was, he was confident. Yeah, he was putting up some nice work. He, doesn't work with another horse, he's quite a naughty bugger, but um, on his work, on his own, you can't see much, but he looked like he was doing okay, so um, we couldn't give as much confidence as we wanted to, but um, he won a nice race. Now you're firmly part of your dad's uh, team, and I see driving around your mum as well, so it's, it's a family affair, isn't it, when it comes to Paul Peter? Yeah, it's a team effort, unity, strength, so you stick together and carry on doing what we're doing. On this performance, he's certainly not going to stop here. The source, he looks promising. I hope not. Lyle seems to think he's got one or two more in the bag. So it'll be nice. Okay, give us a comment. I spoke to your dad about Fort Amber, and he also liked her later on today. How she traveled, how she doing? She's doing very well. She loves to travel to Durban. She just seems to grow extra leg. Let's hope she does the same today. Well, please give our best to the owners and to your dad as well. Well done here, Tony. Thank you. And thanks to Uncle Dan, Dennis Bosch. We're stabling at him and he's an amazing man uh, to be. He's part of our team also, so well done to Uncle Dan. Nice one, sir. Thank you. Okay, let's get Lyle Hudson in and uh, 
Now, when you, when you look at this horse's form in black and white, you know, Ashley Fortune must have really rated him to travel him to Cape Town, race him in the Tony Ruffle, and even the, the Carting Guineas last time out. That said a lot of what they thought of the horse. Yes, you know, obviously I get the opinion of the boys in the jockey room and uh, he was a horse that, that was started to have a lot of, a lot of ability. Um, he obviously needed that gelding. Uh, I don't think his mind was on the job and uh, he's slowly come really back to himself. Um, he's a lovely mover and he, he does have the qualities of a nice sort and I think the way he did it today shows that he's getting it all together today. You know, this horse, the way you rode him today, it looked like you could have positioned him anywhere. Yes, yeah, he, he felt really simple to me, you know, um, the pace was really genuine and um, I opted then to, to give him more of a chance and I followed the horse I, I thought I had to beat. Um, but but he, he, he travelled really softly and um, barely was on the bit and it was one of those things where I was either going really well that he was relaxed or I had nothing left. But um, turning for home, as soon as I slapped him up and gave him, gave him the clear run, he really changed legs and kicked on. So that's really pleasing because now he knows how to race properly and uh, I'm sure he'll go on. You engaged for trainer Sean Terry. It's a wonderful job that you have, but one of your other big supporters throughout your apprenticeship and even now is Paul Peter. Yes, without a doubt. From work riders days, he, he's always been a, a flagship supporter of mine. And, um, you know, coming down to Durban, uh, he's been my number one stable here so far. So, yeah, it's been fantastic that I can get these sort of opportunities and um, I'm really grateful for them. So thanks to Mr. Peter, Tony, for their, for their hard work and the great job they're doing with the horses. Well done to them. Just your feel and what the horse uh, spoke to you in the race, what do you think? I think he, he'd probably be better suited to even a furlong more, but um, I think the pace over, over this trip um, was suited to him because he, he still had the stamina to kick on again, but I think that opens more options that he can get the extra furlong and um, the way he's maturing, he, he's going to go up in the divisions. Nice double thus far. Thank you very much. So like I said to the team, thank you so much for the opportunities and I'm glad I could bring it home for these owners. Well done to them and to my sponsor Aventure, a lovely double to end of the weekend so far. Nice one. Thank you. Paul Peter, well played and thanks uh, for the long chat that we had yesterday about this horse and of course Fort Amber, much appreciated and of course that information was definitely passed on to the guys. 3, 9, 4 and 1 is the way they cross the line here, race number 4.